Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Project-based businesses that want to track income and expenses for customer projects can use the Jobs feature within QuickBooks to do this. You can create a job for a customer within the Customers and Jobs list. To do this, open the Customer Center window and then select the name of the customer for whom you want to make a job within the Customers and Jobs list. Then click the New Customer and Job button in the upper left corner of the Customer Center and choose the Add Job command from the drop-down menu that appears to open the New Job window. This window is just like the New Customer window except that the first three tabs within the New Job window will already be filled in with the selected customer's information. All you will need to do is enter a name for the job into the Job Name field at the top of the window and then click the Job Info tab to enter the specific job information. On this tab, you can type a longer description for the job into the Job Description field. You can then enter the type of job into the Job Type field or choose a previous entry made within this field from the drop-down menu. This field can help you categorize the types of projects that you perform for customers. You can use its values as a report filter so that you can see income and expense by job type. You can then select the status of the job from the Job Status drop-down. Be sure to update the value within this field as the project progresses. When the job starts, you can enter the start date into the Start Date field. You can enter the best estimate as to when the job will be completed by entering that into the Projected End Date field. When the project finally finishes, enter its actual end date into the End Date field. When you're finished, click the OK button to add the job to the Customers and Jobs list. Note that the jobs for the customers appear as sub-account entries within this list. Once you have created a job for a customer, you can then track income and expenses for the customer job by using the Customer Job column that appears within the line item area within your forms, such as the Enter Bills forms, for example. You can also create estimates to give to the customer for a proposed job within QuickBooks. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.